ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Being ATL Show at the Epicenter of Hope, Hope Distribution Studios. I'm your host, Bert Starzer. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I apologize for my absence on the air. I am trying to get more uh, episodes for you very soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for your patience and tuning in today. Before I forget, I want to mention that I will be airing a very special episode soon in which I interview a brother in the Lord and receive a little insight into what the Christian youth are facing within the schools and within their culture in 2015. So please stay tuned to this channel for more information and what I'm sure will be a huge blessing for all of you. So how's everyone doing? Is life treating you good? I hurt. I certainly hope wherever you are, that you are reaping the blessings of our Heavenly Father. And speaking of blessings, that's exactly where I'd like for us to start today. How can we reap the blessings of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? For all of you tuning in for the first time, I want to throw out a quick disclaimer that I'm not a teacher. So I'm sure some of the, the information I'm going to bring you is very basic. However, I do believe that in order for all of us to grow stronger in our faith and to uncover the deeper wisdom of God, we need to begin at the foundation and build upon that, hopefully, the glory of His name and His Son. With that said, hopefully all I share will build upon your knowledge of Hamashiach Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah, and you will be encouraged, strengthened, and your roots grown deeper into the Messiah and the Word of the Living God. For today's episode, let's take a look at Genesis 12, verses 1 through 3. This is the calling of Abram, later known as Abraham. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. Later on, Abraham had two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael was birthed by his wife's servant, Hagar, and Isaac was birthed by by Abraham's wife, Sarah. Now, so there is no confusion by anyone as to which son God chose to bless the people of the earth through, let's look at Genesis 21, verse 13. But God said to him, Abraham, Do not be distressed about the boy, Ishmael, and your slave woman, Hagar. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be called. The Hebrew word for called that is used in this passage is korah, which means to proclaim, pronounce, publish, and renowned. So the truth and the blessings God promised Abraham was to come through Isaac. It is through Isaac that your offspring will be called. Why is the blessing of God to come through Isaac? Because God promised Abraham that he would have a child by Sarah. God made a promise. And when God makes a promise, you better believe He is going to keep it. The descendants of Abraham had to come through Sarah. And it's through Isaac's lineage and bloodline that is the Jewish people and to King David of Israel. And it's through David's bloodline and lineage that the Messiah was promised from Scripture to come into the world and save humanity from their sin debt. Our sin debt. Yeshua, the son of the living God, was born of a virgin, lived, taught, was crucified, dead, and buried, and rose from the dead on the third day. It is through Him that the people of the earth can be blessed. I say can because in order to reap any of the promises, we must first receive Yeshua as our Lord and Savior. It is through God's only Son that all the people on the earth who call on Him are blessed. Let's go back just a moment and remind ourselves of what God said to Abraham. God says, I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. So once we have given our lives to the Messiah, and He is our Lord and God, what should be our first act as a follower of Yeshua? 
it should be to forgive. In Matthew six fourteen through 15 Yeshua says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Just as we ask the Messiah to forgive us of our sins, He does so immediately. The same way He forgives us, we must forgive others who wrong us. It doesn't matter the reason or the motive behind why a person wrongs us. But if they do wrong us, we are to forgive them. This is very basic, but carries with it the beginnings of the blessings of God. So often, I'm afraid, we tend to want things done super fast, the microwave society. But we forget our timing is not God's timing, and our ways are not His ways. We can't manipulate the Almighty into doing whatever it is we want. Rather, we must stay submissive to Him and the Messiah and the teaching of His Word, the whole book, all the Scriptures. Let's take a look at Romans four fourteen through 17 where it reads, For if those who depend on the law are heirs, faith means nothing, and the promise is worthless, because the law brings wrath. And where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore, the promise comes by faith, so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who have the faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. The promises of God are meant for the descendants of Abraham, of the natural olive branches, the Jewish people, as well as those that are grafted in, into it by faith. We are all part of one tree and one family, and that is the family of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. As it is written in Hebrews 11:6, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. The blessings of God are available to all who ask Yeshua for forgiveness for, of their sins and receive Him as their Lord and Savior. In 2 Corinthians 1.20 it reads, For as many as are the promises of God in Him, Yeshua, they are, yes. Therefore also through Him is our Amen to the glory of God through us. The first step in receiving the blessings is asking God's only Son for forgiveness. Ask Him to be the Lord of your life. Then begin following the Messiah by first forgiving all who have wronged you. By taking these steps, you will begin your journey into a fulfilling life, and you will come to know exactly what unconditional love is. If you have any questions on today's topic, just go to my website, bnatl.com, and email me. Please include the topic in the subject line, and I'll respond ASAP. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you shalom. This is being ATL show at the epicenter of Hope Hope Distribution Studios. I'm your host Bert Starzer. Till next time, take care, be well, and God bless.